even for the winter time, I remembered. Uh, I was a, a kind of crying because it was my first time to see the, the weather. The Claudette Ni Nina Azig came to the U.S. as an asylum seeker in 2011, leaving her three children and husband behind in Burundi. When you, ca you come here, sometimes people are alone and they don't have someone to talk with. That's why Claudette says Portland's Refugee Services was an important resource in helping her assimilate to the U.S. The program heavily relies on state and federal grants, two of which were denied this past September. Program coordinator Regina Phillips says that's a loss of more than a million dollars annually. It's going to be a loss to the community. The program also provided services to a specific group of refugees, survivors of torture. They've counseled hundreds since 2009. They've been doctors and lawyers and engineers and teachers, um, and that and for some reason, uh, unfortunately, war broke out in their home country, and it was unsafe for them to be there. Claudette says that's why she's working towards her American citizenship. Her family joined her months after she arrived in Portland. She says she'll never forget what it meant to have the help of welcoming Mainers when she first came to America. It's a kind of uh, uh, being in uh, an ocean without uh, and maybe swimming without knowing where to go so if the those services are there those providers they just guide the new manners for integrating this new system because you know we uh, they have many challenges Program organizers say that they're seeking funding now from other sources, but they've had to cut about half of their employees and many of their services. They won't be able to apply for one of these grants again for another three years. Live in Portland, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.